Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video is going to be essentially a first impressions look on the label ledge. Now they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and offered to send this to me uh, in exchange for just me sharing my opinions on it. There was no obligation on making a video. This video is not sponsored by them. Um, I really just kind of wanted to share my first impressions with all of you and just some things that I've noticed so far. So first things first on this, Super easy to put together. I did have Chris help me only because, you know, anything that involves putting anything together, I immediately just give it to him because he's always so much better. But really it was just a couple of screws to screw in a couple pieces. This can be changed and moved up and down based on the diameter of your jar. And I kind of yeah. just learned where to put it um, through trial and error essentially. Um, and this right here can actually be unscrewed and move side to side. Um, so this is kind of how I had it set up for labeling all of these candles in the background that you can see. I am going to label a couple more just so you can actually see me physically do it. And then I'll kind of share my thoughts on the whole thing. So one thing that I definitely noticed that I was having issues with was with the fact that I have two wicks because I like to line it up to where the label is in the front and then the wicks are kind of essentially parallel with the label. Um, I, I don't like to have the label over here and have the wicks all kind of wonky on the side. I'm very particular about that. So that was definitely something that I was kind of struggling with in the beginning and it still kind of takes me a little bit to line it up. So essentially what I do is I push the bottom of the jar up against this little ledge right here. And then this is centered to where it's going to have probably about half an inch from the bottom. And I'm trying to make it as centered in the middle as possible. So let me just see if I can move the camera up a little bit closer and show you this whole process. So I apologize with this if my hand kind of gets in the way, but I originally tried to do this on camera just with one hand and it was not working out. So what I'm trying to do is just align this up with the crease right here. So I'm just putting this on the side and aligning that onto the crease. So just like that. And then I'm going to put that side down, rotate that off, and then press it down all the way over on the other side. And that came out pretty dang straight. I'm getting so much better at this. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started using this, I'm like, oh man, I don't, I do not think I'm going to be able to use this. This is not efficient or easy for me at all. But just like with everything else, the more you do something, the easier it's gonna get, the more practice you have at it. And I don't know if I'm doing that right. I don't know if I have to roll it off or if the way that I'm doing it is okay, but that seems to be the way that is the easiest for me. Um, but I think that if there's anybody that is struggling, which I know there is because so many people have reached out to me before that they struggle with putting labels on the candles. Um, that's something, that was something that I definitely struggled with in the beginning, but again, I've labeled thousands of candles before. So it just has basically come with a lot of practice. So um, I think that this device could definitely help a lot of people. And I know there's so many different sizes of jars and different kind of things that you can align it with. And I like that you're able to adjust it to your liking. So um, I am actually going to try to label one of my tens right now. So I'm going to do this live, quote unquote, it's not really live, but we're gonna try it together. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this. You know, maybe I am gonna keep it down here. Again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have the candle pretty low, that might be too low, but we'll see. So I am going to have to adjust this because if I keep this right here, I just grabbed this to show you, if I keep that right there, it is not going to be where I want it to sit on the candle. So I'm going to, actually, you know what, I'll probably leave that on there, move this over to my liking right here. I gotta be honest, I struggle so much more with labeling these than I do with my other size candles. 
So this is pretty freaking awesome, honestly, because I struggle with this one so much more. So that worked pretty well. I'm probably going to adjust it and maybe bring it up a little bit so that I try to have it as e even as possible, but that's like a maybe like a millimeter difference or something. It's like such a small difference. So, so let me try to get another one and move this slightly up, just like the teeniest, tiniest bit. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but I moved it up a tiny bit. And let's try that again. So line this up right here. And then one thing that I do need to make sure of again is that double wicking and, and how I wanna have it. So I'm gonna rotate that actually, put that down. Again, it took me a while to figure that out with the other ones. So, you know, that actually worked out pretty well. I like that a lot better than I did with that last one. So that is pretty straight on there and it works well with where the wicks are located. So really my main thing that I wanted to see with this device was a couple things. I wanted to see, is it going to make it faster and more efficient for me? Because I'm definitely all about the efficiency and the speed of getting things done. The efficiency of it definitely is there. I don't know yet if this is faster than me labeling it myself without this device. However, I'm gonna keep doing this because I wanna make sure that my labels are straight and I think it looks nicer when your labels are straight. And I know that I'm going to get so much faster with this thing and it's just gonna get easier and easier for me. So I am super grateful that they sent this to me. Thank you so much to Label Edge for sending this to me. Again, not sponsored, just kind of a little review for all of you guys to check out. Um, I will most likely just have a little link in the description box below if you wanna go check them out. Um, if you struggle with labeling and you know all that kind of stuff and getting things straight, um, it may be super helpful for you as well. But I think that is in the end of today's little review. I'm just gonna keep labeling keep working at it and keep getting faster at this. And I'm sure that in no time I will be super fast with this. And I think it's also gonna help Chris as well because he doesn't ever want to um, label anything because he's worried about messing up the labels. But I think with something like this is gonna give him a lot more confidence in doing it um, to have something, you know, to make it to where it's going to be even every time. Um, but with that, I think I'm gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Erica Marie Morris, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.